Christians attach much significance to the Passover lamb. In the book of Exodus, we learn how the Jews were brought out by God from the land of Egypt. The night that they were brought out from the land of Egypt, God had told them to slaughter a lamb and put the blood of the lamb on the doorposts. And then the destroying angel went through the land of Egypt and smote the Egyptian firstborn, but all the houses that had the blood of the lamb on the doorpost were spared, they were saved. In fact, the word Passover refers to this event. The word Passover refers to God passing over those houses that had the blood of the lamb on their doorpost, and that's why we have the holiday Passover. The, Pass the Passover holiday is named after this event. Now, Christians attach significance to this. Christians say that the blood of the lamb represents the blood of Jesus, and their argument is that whoever has the blood of Jesus will be saved on the day of judgment. But what does the blood of the lamb mean? In Exodus chapter 8, verse 22, we read how Moses and Pharaoh are having a conversation. Moses was asking Pharaoh, this was before Pharaoh let the Jews out of Egypt, and Moses was saying to Pharaoh, we have to go out and worship our God. And worshiping God meant bringing offerings to God. And Pharaoh said, why do you have to go out to do that? Why can't you do that here in Egypt? And Moses responds by saying, we can't do this. The Egyptians won't allow it. We can't slaughter the abomination of the Egyptians. They'll stone us. We can't do this in Egypt. In other words, slaughtering lambs was something that the Egyptians couldn't tolerate for whatever reason, whether it was cultural, whether it was religious. It was something that the Egyptians couldn't tolerate. When the Jewish people took that lamb and they slaughtered it in Egypt and put the blood on the doorpost, what they were saying is that we are servants of God. We are separating ourselves. <clears throat> We are distancing ourselves from the surrounding culture, from the culture of Egypt. For them, it's something difficult to do. For, th for them, it's something that they would never do. It's something they look down at us if we would do it, but we're going to do it because God commanded us. The blood on the lamb, of the lamb on the doorpost was a sign that in this house, it's not Egypt. It's a different, the, the culture in the house is a culture of serving God. It's not a culture of the land around us. That's what the blood of the lamb represents. The blood of the lamb doesn't represent the Christian acceptance of Jesus. The blood of the lamb represents the Jewish rejection of Jesus because the Jewish rejection of Jesus is the Jewish rejection of the religious norms around them. It is the, is the Jewish courage in the face of persecution, in the face of oppression, is the Jewish courage in remaining loyal to God's command that you should worship me and only me, obey me and only me, that's what the blood of the Lamb represents. Yes, the blood of the Lamb is very significant, but it's not what the Christian thinks it means. The blood of the Lamb represents obedience to the God of Israel. 